See it right here is going to be metal plating putting over the expansion joint. Now here's more of what Hampton Ray had to say. Basically, we're placing metal plates over the bridge, uh, finger joints, that's from outside lane to outside lane. Um, these metal plates, I'm sure you've probably driven over them. Uh, they're about, you know, an inch or so thick. Um, and basically, they'll cover the finger joint. It's technically a temporary fix. We will uh, go out and do a more permanent fix. As you heard him say there, this is just a temporary fix. There will be a more permanent fix in the future. But of course, this will hopefully get that southbound side of the bridge back open within a few hours. Now, taking a look here at the current situation on the bridge, you can see crews are out there on the top of the span of that bridge so far this morning. So hopefully we'll be able to pull up the traffic map here for you to be able to show you that. And well, here we go. We're going to get to this here in just a second. The inspection reports. Now, if you are going to be traveling around the area, trying to get across the bridge, we're going to show you some alternate routes here in the traffic center. If that can be pulled up for me, please, because we know that a lot of people are trying to find their way around it, and that can be very complicated. We'll get to those alternate routes here in just a second. So taking a look here, we did pull up the last time the bridge was inspected and the southbound side of the bridge was inspected in February of 2020, and this is according to the the latest report here on the Florida Department of Transportation website, and that is normal for bridges to be inspected either once a year or once every two years. These large bridges that we have in Jacksonville, and it actually did get pretty good ratings when it came to its uh, structural integrity ratings. So we are working to find out more information from FDOT and the Florida Highway Patrol, and we'll be getting those updates to you as soon as we get them. So make sure you stay with us because as you take a live look here, you can see crews there still on the top of that bridge making those repairs, but they are hoping that those southbound lanes will be able to be reopened within just a matter of a few hours. So make sure you stay with us here on First Coast News. And when we get those announcements that lanes are reopening, we will, of course, bring it to you.